Hello, my name is Michael Forrest McDonald and this is my final exam. So here we have the main form page. We have three buttons, show all employees, search department, and add employees. We can click search all employees, show all employees, and, we, and it will take us to this form where it will list all the names of the employees. We can go back and click search department and we can uh, search and sort uh, all of the members by the department and we'll print out all of their information here. We can go back and we can add employees as well. We can add uh, their name, their department, uh, their office, and their phone number with the format being three numbers, a dash, and then four numbers. And then this will be displayed um, once it's added. So let's go over the code sum. This is the code for the first form. It just directs everything uh, where they need to be because it's just buttons on there. So here for show all, we load in and we don't, the user doesn't need to click anything to, to list all the names. So we just have this in the load. And so it will take the file and we'll store the location name of file in this variable. And then it will make sure that file exists. And if it does, then it will read the file line by line. And for each line, it will um, take it as a string and then split on each semicolon and then store that in an array. And so to store all the names, we just need to put um, the first or the, the first uh, part of the array into the list box. And then we have our button back, which will hide the form that we're currently on and then go back to the main form. Then we can search and here it will do almost the same thing. It will take the file and it will read it and it will make sure it exists as well and then it will read it and then we'll split on the semicolons and then we just uh, put then we put the uh, what is it the the whole to each part of the array into this variable the string variable and then if the checked if the staff button is checked or the computer science button is checked then it will go into um, it will print out the information for each of those departments. Yeah. And if the file is not found, it will display a an error message. Then we can go to add employee and we have some variables up here. And then we validate the phone number. And so this is checking that the first the first three characters are numeric and the last four are numeric because of how the format is with the dash in the middle. Then we will take the file and we will print out or we will write to the file this time instead of reading from it. We will write to the file the their name that the user inputted, the department, the office, and their phone number. And then we clear uh, all of the text boxes and then display our employee added label. So we know that uh, it worked and that our button actually did something. So let's go ahead and run the program. First we can start the program and we can click show all employees and we have all of the employees here that we have in there. So, and even some extras for my text testing. Let's go back and we can go search department and we can search see all the staff and staff, all the people in computer science, management and marketing, accounting and finance, management and marketing, accounting and finance, administrators, there's only a few administrators. We have our dean and our executive and residents. So we have the computer science here. Let's see. We have Neil Rogers. I took a class with him and with him. And there is Ms. Hod Hod, Dr. Hod Hod. She's my advisor. And Alfredo Perez. I have data structures with him this semester. And Aurelia Smith, she was overseeing my AWS course that I took this semester. Let's see, I think I recognized some names in here or in here. But yeah, we can go back and we can add an employee. So we will add George Martin and he will work in staff and his office will be VT. It doesn't even exist, I don't think. And then his phone number will be three. There we go. And we can add him. 
it will say employee added. We can go back, we can show all employees. We can see that George Martin has been added here. Or we can search by department, we can search staff, and we can see that George Martin was added there. And we can go ahead and show you the file and all of the things that I've added are in there. And there we go. So thank you.